Hi everyone, welcome. It's Marcy Besker. Today is Monday. I almost forgot what day it was. It is Monday and here I am live again. What, three days in a row? Yep, so here I am and I am going to share a super fun card with you. I'm just trying to find my comments and I think I am good to go. So if you are on, say hi. And I decided today to do a Christmas card and tomorrow I will do something non-Christmas. Um, but it's something really cool that I like to play with. I just don't get, do it very often. So it, tomorrow's card will be completely different and not a Christmas thing. All right, so today was kind of a crazy day. First of all, yesterday after I talked to you guys, wow. I'll explain how crazy my hair got today in a bit. So I went to go help my husband with garland and it just tore up my hands. I'm pulling it out and getting it all fluffy and everything, hygiene-y. And um, I'm, it was just tearing my hands up. I had like scratches. It seems like a lot of them went away, but not all of them. I still have like scratches on my hands from it, but it's fun. It's all up. It's beautiful. Love it. So that was fun. Then this morning, of course, I went to go to the dentist and got my teeth clean. Yay. So after that, of course, I had to go get a Java chip because, well, I deserve it. And now I, oh, and I stopped at Walmart and went and did some Christmas shopping, stocking stuff for things. Oh, it's a zoo out there. Why did I think of doing that at Thanksgiving week? I don't know. I should have waited and just did it next week or a week after. All right, so today we're gonna have a lot of fun. This is something I've kind of wanted to do since the beginning when the first holiday stuff came out. I kind of wondered if it would work and I tried it and it did. So let me show you, I know, another poinsettia card. But this one's gonna have a lot of bling, a lot of fun. And this is the velvet paper. So this is the red velvet paper and I am going to do some heat embossing on that and there is a trick to that. So um, I will show you that and we are just gonna create this card from the beginning. We have some fun little pieces. Let me show you probably a little bit better picture up close. You can see some of the little um, gold threads. They're just kind of popping out and um, I love adding just that little element. So I'll show you how I did that. So let's get busy on this. So what I chose to use, of course, my white base is gonna be the thick cardstock. And then, as you know, I use my, I'm gonna use the poinsettia petals and I'm going to use the poinsettia dies. Hi Tashana. I'm going to be using the red and green foil. We're going to be using the green foil. And in my package with my poinsettia paper, we're going to use one of our plush vellum specialty papers here and we're going to just use this fun design right here so we're going to pull that out so yeah it was a lot of running around but i got a little shopping done so that was kind of a good thing so we're going to pull out one of our red velvet so it's velvet on one side and then just the cardstock on the other side so since this card came out, oh, you know what? I started here and I'm going to show you something with that in a second. Um, I chose, to, I I've been wanting to see if we could do embossing. Okay, so I'm going to pull this more gold looking paper out. And so basically all of these specialty papers with the green foil, the red velvet and the metallic, the brushed metallic cardstock. And then also we're going to use the plush, um, plush poinsettias paper. All right. So what I want to do first is we're going to cut down 
a piece of the green, which I forgot to take that out. I pulled it out for leaves, but not the background. So I want to pull out a background one. And I'm going to cut that down to four by five and a quarter. I wanted a lot of that to show. And those are already cut at four. So we're going to do five and a quarter and we're going to keep this piece. And I guess I could have cut it after, but I like it's easier to cut little pieces off before you emboss it. Cutting after you emboss sometimes is not the best idea because I think it catches on your little bumps and then it kind of tears it. So what we're going to do is we are going to use our embossing folder. Where did I put it? Over oh, right here. So the winter snow. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in and I'm going to push it all the way to the top so I can also add our bottom in because this is going to go on the inside of our card. So push it all the way up as long as you, not, not to the very top. You want to make sure you don't put it where that smooth edge is. You want to make sure you get a print on there. So as long as you can see that you're going to get print all the way. All right, so I'm going to do that. So yeah, my grandkids this year, I had to go do a little bit of shopping. And my, like I said, my granddaughter is going to be here. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, I get all the stocking stuffers and that kind of thing. Because she it has told me multiple times that Santa will be here for Christmas, that he's coming here. So to make sure that I knew that. So I had to go get my stocking stuffers. And... While I was there, I got um, her like a leapfrog. She's in kindergarten and she's learning to read, which she's loving. Okay, so now we have these two pieces. We're gonna go ahead and put that aside. And what I did is I brought the rectangle in to measure this. Because I was going to cut the green out on that card and save it. But then I realized if I, after that I was gonna put the plush on top let me move my light over a little bit. Um, so if you look closely, I've already cut that one, but then I just put it back down there and glued it on because I chose, I wanted to be able to see it and you can see the snowflakes behind that. So what I ended up doing is just using the smaller one here and I just kind of even out the design, you know, where you're putting it. So just so it kind of has a, an even look to that paper doesn't have to be perfect oops i forgot one of my shims because i did my uh embossing folder so let's see if that even cut nope not quite so i was debating between doing christmas today or non-christmas i decided to do christmas and here i go with another poinsettia card but like I said, I really wanted to try the embossing, but there is a tip I have to show you about embossing on the velvet. So I will show you that because that was something that I was really glad that I figured out. So I'll share that with you. All right, so now we have our Flush poinsettia and I have to say like a lot of cards as you know it just doesn't do it justice on the camera I don't know if you can see but the embossing I have this little the little threads that I just love adding on here let's see if I can pick them up like this so you can see all these cute little threads that are just out I just love that look it's just so pretty. Thanks to Shauna. Okay, so let me put my. All right. Oh, it's like I just had them. Where'd they go? All right, so I'll put my die back. Okay, so now let's do our poinsettias and our leaves and all of our embossing that we're going to do. So we're going to pull this out. 
and we'll actually emboss at the same time. So let's start out with our poinsettias. And I put my leaves all on blocks and forgot my poinsettias. I really thought I was going to be doing this much earlier today, but it got to be a little hectic. But I'm super glad I got a little bit of shopping done before Christmas. However, the stores were crazy. Not the brightest move going today, but that's all right. It worked and it's fine. All right, so let's do our embossing. So let me tell you, first what I did is I brought out my trusty paper we used yesterday. Thank you, Connie, so much. Welcome. And my gold embossing powder. So the secret to doing the embossing on the velvet is you don't want to emboss it too much. It embossed fairly easy. You can, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Let me see if I can get it up here. So, right here, it got embossed a little much, and it's not very shiny. No problem, Bonnie. I didn't have a scheduled time, just decided to pop on sometime today. Um, so, it's, it's not as super shiny as you want, because I think I heated it a little too long, because on this paper, it kind of looks like it's still not heat, heated. So it still looks a little rough, like you could just wipe the powder away. So you want to be super careful about heating it. So we're going to try it and let's see what happens because sometimes it came out super shiny. Let me see if I can show you on here. So right here, it's really shiny. On this petal here, it's really shiny but maybe on this one, not so shiny. So it's, I mean, it's still super pretty. It's still gold. You still see the pattern. Hi, Debbie. Okay, so what you're gonna do is do your Versamark. You're gonna emboss exactly the same. You're just going to not emboss quite as, as long as you think you need to. I'm gonna try and do it this time from underneath. And I'm going to see if I could, oh, I should have put my mat underneath me. Darn it. I'm going to see if I can do it from underneath like I always do to where it doesn't. Okay. Hopefully I got it on there without a mat, but let's see. We're going to pull this in. And of course I wouldn't use your, if he, or your, uh, embossing buddy let's just move this around it seems to come off nicely i just use oops i need more up here i can tell i just use my bone folder and i just tap it off fairly well see it's on there really really well so just kind of tap it off and remember you're die cutting so if there's a little bit outside i wouldn't even worry about that so that's this one I'm going to go ahead and do the next two also while I'm here and then I'll emboss them all at the same time. So let me get those on here. Decorated. Happy about that. All right. The one thing to know is it is hard to see on here once you do it. So I'm just going to move over here, make sure that I'm not over. I should have paid a little more attention to that, but that's all right. But this paper really makes a gorgeous poinsettia. All right. Is everybody ready for the sale tomorrow? I have to tell you, I finally read over my notes because it's been a crazy weekend, but the sale tomorrow is out of the big catalog. Um, Debbie, you can go to Marcy at MarcyBessaker.com. Um, and that's that's my email. That's through my blog. So it's Marcy at MarcyBessaker.com. Or um, I'm also on my business page. It's Marcy Bessaker Designs. And you could message me there on Facebook if you want. But probably my email is probably the better way. 
Sometimes my notifications through my business page gets kind of weird. Just a little iffy. I, sometimes I just go in there and keep checking because sometimes I don't get a notification, which is odd. Okay. So now we're going to try and heat from underneath. I'm going to heat my gun up for just a bit. And we're going to do the large one on here. If you don't have a cushion, um, do you have the um, the grid paper, the, the stack of grid paper, or like a tablet? Anything that just gives you a little bit of a, a cushion. These are fantastic for lots of reasons. Hi, Lorna. That is no problem. Make sure if you're subscribed, there should be a little bell at the bottom. Just click on that bell and that's your notification. Um, so your subscription, I think, goes through your email. But if your YouTube is open, you'll get a um, notification that says I'm live. And today's not a normally scheduled day. So, okay, so I'm going to go underneath. I'm going to hold it kind of in the light so I can see. Remind me, I'll get back to the catalog information for you for tomorrow. So I can see it kind of turning and I'm trying to be a little more cautious about overheating because it is the velvet paper, but I just want to make sure that it's melting. And now I'm, I'm just trying to decide if on top or underneath is better. Okay, so I can start to see it melting over here. And I'm just going to keep kind of moving it because I want it to be as shiny as possible. All right, so you can kind of see it starting to turn. But I think the best thing to do, like I'm doing now, is just kind of move it back and forth from leaf to leaf and then just kind of make its way back because... It's not super shiny, I have to say. It goes shiny and then boom, it goes dull again. So like that leaf is shiny, but it's kind of hard to, to see. Is it, hi Olivia, is it, um, is it drying? You know, is it melting on there or am I, you know, is it too far past? So just be careful. I'm gonna try it on top. There we go. I think it's starting to turn a little bit more now. But I'm just trying to be cautious because I think there's a point where it starts to not be. See, it still seems like it's not melted enough, but I'm so afraid to do it too much. Okay, so. All right. I think kind of going underneath and then moving on to the top is kind of the way to do it because I think it's melted through underneath a little more. And then when you come on top, you're kind of finishing it off without reheating what's underneath. All right, so I think, it's a little difficult to tell if it's done or not. And I have to say, oh, I was just re-reheating another flower. Huh. I'm going to try this one on top. Let's see what happens. So I can start seeing the shine. Okay. I'm liking doing it from the top better. I kind of did both yesterday and wasn't sure I should have paid attention once I realized. So you see how that all kind of just melted, but it doesn't, you can tell it melts, but not as shiny as your regular embossing. But it's so beautiful on this paper. And you can tell it melts fairly quickly. And I move this way more than I would on regular paper. Okay, so I think we're good. Of course, my fear is always that something's not done and I just smudge it. So I just want to be careful. Okay, I think we're, we're pretty good. Okay, so you can tell right here. Well, you might not be able to up there. 
but this is pretty shiny right here but but some of these spots are not but honestly i mean look how gorgeous that looks and it's the same thing there's a little bit of shiny spots I mean, the difference i mean you really have to look at it for the difference so you're still going to see that so let's go ahead and get these cut well you know what let's just keep going here so we're going to take our leaves and we're going to do the same thing with our let me move all this over with our versa mark i'm going to do one big and two small so here's the large one and be careful because the foil paper is a little slippery there's my head in the way again of course it wouldn't be in my video if i didn't have my head in the way and then i'm going to do two small ones all right so there's that I'm going to bring in my paper and my gold again. And honestly, I never use those. I mean, I do have them, the embossing trays for your embossing powder, but I almost always hold on to some old paper that I've used. Hi, Heather. Um, or coffee filters. Those are my main two things I use. Now I should have showed you, there was a lot of powder stuck on there, kind of how it sticks when you do your, um, you know, if, if you touched it with your oils of your skin or whatever, um, just tap it off the best you can and then you're good. So it just tends to cling a little bit to the foil, but it does come off. Just to give it a good tap because the foil is slick it really does hold on to your embossing powder with the Versamark really well. So don't worry about that coming off. All right. So now we're going to heat this really quick. And the foil is much faster, but I try not to get too close because it is foil versus regular paper. And you, you can see some extra powder if you look close, like right there. But it does not bother me. It's on the leaves they're going to be tucked in it's really outside the leaves more than in and so i just kind of go back and forth you can see it's pretty quick on the foil all right that one's done almost done I like to move it around and yeah, the foil is going to bend, but this is really easy to bend back. Now, when you crease this, when you use your bone folder and do your shaping, be careful with the foil because the foil will um, crack. So you just got to be a little careful of that. All right. So we're going to go ahead and use our large one here so what i do is i look for the longest skinny one that doesn't really have many like grooves like these do and then i know that it's probably this one and it is i'm going to add a little piece of tape i still have red fuzzy tape from yesterday that i used let's see if i can fit the small one so again, the long skinny one, this one has a little bit of groove in it and I don't know, it might be this one. Um, nope. So let's take a look. This one. There we go. All right. So another piece and they're far enough apart from each other. I haven't either, Heather. Um, it said the middle of the month. You're right. I think I'm going to, I think I'll look into that. Um, tomorrow's Tuesday, which the announcements come out. So uh, maybe we can find out then. But yeah, they did say the middle of the month. All right. So now I'm moving over to this next one here. Nope, nope, nope. This way. There we go. 
and one more. Am I on camera? There we go. All right, so I'm gonna stick these through. That, that tape's about done. Hello, Angela. I'm, I've decided, if you guys get my blog, I posted that the update is I'm still going to blog on Sundays and Tuesdays when I do my video. Oh, I hope you use it, Debbie. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is start doing more videos. And I'm still going to blog. I'm just not going to blog quite as much as... I'm still going to do the main two days, so I might just post two projects on one day. I just don't want people to get overwhelmed with emails by, if I do, you know, if I do videos three days in a row, I know some people just don't like getting, you know, a whole lot of emails about blogs. So I thought, well, I think that's what I'm going to do is, oh, I think I just did the wrong one, but that's okay. It's the same, same difference. All right, so there's that one, and here's this one. So, like, what I'll do is I posted today. I mean, you guys probably got a notice today from our blog yesterday, our video yesterday. And so today's and tomorrow's will probably both be on my blog the next day. Two different posts, but I just won't publish one until I publish two together, if that makes sense. All right, so let's put our dies back up here, and I'll put those away later. At least put them in my pile so I don't lose them. All right, so I'll set this aside. Okay, so now we have that. Hello, Lisa. Felt sheets and a bingo use. Okay, so now we're going to do our leaves. Oh, you know what? I was using my leaves for my, you guys know what my Christmas cards look like. So that's what I was using those on. So let me reach over here and get those. And I have extra leaves because too small because um, a friend let me use her set. So I don't have to be sitting here doing, I'm doing three leaves on my Christmas cards and I'm doing probably 30 cards that's what my first plan is anyway you think i would have written a list and known how many i need but i didn't because i have a lot of other cards so not worried about it but yeah that was really nice so now i have an extra set of leaves i can use while i'm getting my cards done all right so now we're going to do this so what i'm going to do right here is i'm going to cut off this because I want all the space I can get on my platform there to do some die cutting because now we're going to bring the gold in. So I'm going to slide this in first like this and take that up towards the top. And then on here, we need three of these. I did make one of these already. And so we have two, lead, two of these are identical. So we're just going to move this up because we need three here. Let's do it this way and we'll do these down here and then we'll just go across. And I'm doing three of these per flower of the little poinsettias. I just thought they looked a little fuller. Oh, let me bring that back in. I just thought they looked a little fuller. So I chose to do three. All right. Okay, so here we go. We have our three leaves. I just thought this is a very blingy card, which is just so fun. I like that the plush kind of tones it down a little bit, but it's still nice and blingy everywhere. All right, so there's one. 
pick up more. Is Oh, I was going to tell you, that's what I was starting to say is, so tomorrow on our special, um, it's on the large annual catalog, but it does not include paper, ink, the stamp, uh, the I think the Stamparatus, the cut and emboss, but pretty much stamp sets, embellishments, ribbons, all that type of stuff. So anything that you want that I should have put the list up here that it's what it doesn't include. But there's a lot it includes and very little that it doesn't. So tomorrow, all day, and it's the only day is tomorrow. So get your list ready. If there's that stamp set you've been thinking about or something else to think about is the stamping kits. That gorgeous posies. See, I can't get anything as my quarter is paid for. I can't order now until January. Oh, okay, Heather, you're spacing out your quarters. Yep, then, um, well, that's good. In January, you'll at least have the new mini catalog and celebration going on, so you can earn some free stuff that way. All right, so we have two. We need one more. One, two. Oh, here's my other flower. Three. All right, so we have our three little flowers, our little poinsettias. That totally makes sense, Heather. All right. And for the people that aren't demonstrators, um, if you're interested in becoming a demonstrator, I'd love to have you on my team. You can message me at marcy at marcybesker.com. Or you could go to my blog at the top. It says join my team. You can kind of look at that, see what it's, what it's about and let me know if you have any questions, but you will be able to purchase our new fun items out of our new catalog, including earning your free stuff out of celebration starting December 1st. So that is a fantastic deal. Okay. So here we go, we have our card. We have all of our little gold pieces. I'm gonna move these up here on my magnet so they don't go anywhere. All right, I feel like I have embossing powder right here. So I'm just gonna wipe this off. Just wipe it on the floor. I have a trash can there, but it never makes it in there. Oh, don't I say just a hobbyist when I tell people if you just want to be a hobbyist and and it just sounds like just a hobbyist. A hobbyist is very important. That just means you have super great taste um, and you're smart because you want to get a discount. So just because you choose not to make it a business and you want to get a discount. I'm trying to read too, guys. Sorry. Um, yeah, if you just want to get a discount and you don't want to make a business, you don't want to do videos, you don't want to have classes, you just want to maybe share, you know, the discount with a friend and, you know, get a couple orders that way just to keep yourself current and you're going to, and you're going to keep yourself current by ordering uh, $300 and a quarter. We know crafters that that is a good deal. No, Lisa, I think it's everywhere. Um, I've not been asked that and I didn't look it up, but I think it's everywhere. It's 10%. All right, so I'm just using some glue dots just to adhere this down. Just kind of center it. And I'm gonna give it, give it a good push just because it is on an embossed item but it's sticking quite nicely 
All right, I'm gonna turn this around and I'll tell you why. Because when I put that other piece in here to go in the inside of the card, this piece, I think it overlapped a tiny bit either on top or under right there. So I'm just gonna put it on the bottom because you won't even really notice. You're gonna be looking right here. So we're gonna do that. Now, this is another reason that this piercing pad is really good. And I wanna say it's like $5 or $8. This is really a great product to have for many reasons. So what I'm gonna do is bring my poinsettias in. And what I do is I just push in the middle. It just breaks the fibers up a little bit. And having this squishy pad underneath, it just really helps to do that. I pushed a little hard and my little leaf kind of, my little pill kind of broke. Um, so be careful of that. Push, I'm pushing everything in just to kind of break up the centers. And I'm going to do the leaves a little differently, so I'll show you that in a minute. All right, now I'm going to take my, my bone folder. And I just lightly, I don't even pull, I just lightly just kind of curve them around. I know a lot of people pull them, but you're going to pull this little petal right off. So be really careful, just kind of roll it. All right, so just kind of roll. Roll, you're kind of pushing with your thumb. There's my cut where I cut myself with my scissors the other day. All right, one more. All right, so there's our three. Now what I chose to do is I like to bring in my silicone mat. So let's bring that in. And I'm going to go ahead and it put my flower down and I'm going to glue these because we've got a couple things to do while these could be drying. So I just put a decent amount. Oh, that's a little too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in here and pick some up and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere it here. And then I take my tool and just kind of push it down, push it right there. And you're gonna see that little bit right there, but it'll it'll dry clear, so I'm not worried about it. All right, so just put that where you want it. And then we're gonna pick this up and then put this in here too. And we're just gonna set those and let them dry. I like to push it down. Hi, Samantha. No, Bonnie, you can order as a demonstrator. You're still going to get your celebration items. So the difference for those that aren't demonstrators, if we order as a demonstrator on our website, if we're ordering items for ourselves, we still get the benefits of a party, you know, the $150 or more where we start earning our 10% free items, the celebration, all that type of stuff, except it takes out our discount right then and there. So if you were a demonstrator and you ordered $100 in product, you would get your $20 off right then. You would only pay your $80. Whereas if you're a customer, a customer puts an order in with us, it goes through the website as a customer, we get paid our percentage later on. We don't get paid. It's not immediate like it is if you're a demonstrator. So that's kind of a cool thing too for a lot of people they really like you know, paying your discount right then and there. So you're saving as you go. Okay, so that I just held it down for a little bit and I feel like that is is good for me. I'm gonna turn it just a little bit. Okay, so let that dry. Now we're gonna take our gold and we're gonna do the same thing. And I'm just barely, just giving them a little bit, instead of sticking out like that, I'm just giving them a little bit of shape. All right, so now we have these three. Now these are so tiny, I did um, glue dots. So just do your glue dot. 
and stick it on. I just kind of turned it. Now you'll notice right here, I didn't go completely in the middle of the two because my third one is going to go there. So I just kind of offset it. And now, let's see if you can see this. And now the third one will go there. So it's just kind of all spread out. Okay. So then I just take it and I squish it in the middle. And then I kind of pull the leaves up a little bit. The tips kind of go down, but you want to pull the flowers up a little. And then I took... Oh, the holiday rhinestones are not on sale. Um, I don't have a large one in here, a large red one. So let me look. I know I have more. Just have to find them. I love these rhinestones. All right, so. See, I just love them a little bit. So I'm going to pull out another one. This one has a large in it. All right. I have like three more packages of these, but I keep thinking I better get more before they're gone. I just love that it matches all the colors. You don't have to use these just for Christmas, but there's so many of them that they go with all our colors. So I just really like them. All right. So now we have those. Where did my other little flower go? I had another one. Here it is. So there's our two flowers. Now for our leaves, what I do, is I take my folder and I just kind of go down the middle just to kind of give it a bend. Because remember, the foil is going to crack a little bit. So I just kind of bend it like that. You don't want to bend it too much, like fold it in half bend because it will crack. So just be kind of careful. And then I just take the corners and I kind of more dent my bone folder in. Because if you do the rolling and the pulling, you're going you're gonna to break it. All right, so there's one. And you're just giving them a little bit of shape just to add a little dimension to your card. There's another one. And then I just kind of slide it down just to make sure it kind of gives you that line. All right, so there's your three. All right, so this should be glued enough because now you want to put your gilded gems. Another, I love these gilded gems. I will definitely be getting more of these. Oops, I just, uh-oh. My dog might go crazy because the doorbell just rang. Oh, I don't know who it is. Okay, so I put three... I think I put three medium ones in here. One, two, and three. All right. All right, so there's your three. So there's your flower. It's still a little damp down here. So I'm just going to set this aside while we put everything else together. All right, so we have these two. You know how I do my panel before I do the card, but I am going to set this on here so I can not hang my flower over. And I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the bottom again. And I put a decent amount. Kind of think about how you want it. I'm going to do it this way because I have a lot of stuff that's going to go right there. All right, we're just going to do it like that. So I'm going to hold that. And then I'm going to take a block and just set it on top. Just kind of weigh it down to put it there.
it is paper. It's it's like paper on the back, but it's got that little felt on the top. It's kind of crazy. But it it makes the prettiest poinsettia. And that was, like I said, one of the first things I thought of is wanting to do that. And I just, I would been wanting to try it and I just haven't. And finally, I was like, okay, I just have to give that a try. All right, so now again, we're bringing this mat back because we are going to, I'm gonna turn it over because I pressed in on the other side. I am going to do our sentiment. So I have my memento. And what I do is I try to make it as close to the edge as I want it. That way you're only trimming one edge. So I'm going to make sure I get a lot of ink. I'm still waiting for my memento ink uh, refills to come because I can't find mine which is kind of crazy. All right, and then I'm just gonna go as close to the edge. With, hopefully my head's not getting in the way. Um, fairly close so that I don't have to trim the bottom, hopefully. Yay, all right. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring my trimmer in. And I'm just gonna go off the edge. So there that is. I think I could go just a little more, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this paper, and you're gonna do this on any trimmer, just slide it to where it's up close. And this one, the plastic kind of lifts. And I'm gonna put it right on that line. There's a measurement line right there. Oops, that's too much. Uh, I like to just bring it to the, to the edge. There we go. Now I gotta hold this down and that's better. I like that better. Okay. Um, you can, Bonnie. I showed on the other day, if you put your ink on fast, so put your ink, and as soon as you take it away, have your clear embossing powder ready to go and put it on, and you'll be fine. Exactly, Lisa. I have my Snowflake um, Splendor class coming up and the thing about that is people are loving it because you can stop and start it and i'm going to record the videos for those those cards that i'm creating for that class all right so i'm just going to go ahead and make a banner out of this and i want the tags kind of long not not too terribly long But that way people can start and stop and kind of go at their own pace and do one card one day, another card another day, or whatever. Whatever works for everybody. So this one I cut a little short, so I'm going to go a little more in there. There. So there's our banner. Now what I want to do with our banner is I want the ends to go upward. So let me show you. You're going to pick up your tool, your bone folder, and you're going to do the ends upward. Both ends are going to go upward. Okay. Then you're going to kind of go like this and up, and then you're going to go like this and up. So now you just have kind of a, you know, your banner is just kind of has a little body to it. And then what I'm going to do is find my dimensionals and just put them right towards the part that's going down and you can do as many as you want so whatever works for you 
So now we have that done and now we get to put everything together. All right, so I think I am going to go ahead at this point and I'm going to just adhere it. I'm going to do a liquid so we can get it nice and centered where we want it. And with the embossed images, I just like to use the liquid. All right. I just kind of like to make sure all the sides look fairly even. And then I hold it up like the top needs to come down a little bit. And that's why I don't go, I don't put the glue too close to the edges because it's going to give you a little time to do a little wiggling. And when you move it up and down or left and right, you're not going to get glue there because you started your glue down, down here. So it gives you a little bit of space okay so the next thing i like to do is i'm going to add the leaves i have three leaves so i'm going to put a large and a small down here and i'm going to put a small up here so what i do is i just put i don't really need to pop anything up this is really kind of has a lot of dimension by the folds and i don't want it to be too crazy to put in the mail so i'm going to lift this up and then just lay it there same thing with these. Tomorrow's card is going to be a lot of fun. It is not Christmas. It's a set that I really like and it, I don't think it's used enough. It has so many options and things you can do with it. So I'm excited to do that. Oh, my granddaughter, the one that's coming here for Christmas, got an elf on the shelf by her um, her other grandma mailed it to her. And so her elf's been doing all kinds of crazy things and climbing on trees and shelves and stuff. She just thinks it's the funniest thing ever. She's wondering what the elf is going to do when they, when she's at my house. Oh, I love that set, Heather. All right, so I just kind of make sure those are down and they're still a little wet and that's okay. Now we're going to bring in our sprigs. I don't do anything with them. They're just so pretty like they are. I may trim off the edges some places. So she's worried about what's going to happen to the elf when she's in California. And... She's also so concerned that Santa knows that she is in California and not going to be home. So, of course, I told her. I already talked to him, and he knows she's going to be here. All right, so you have this big space, this big um, piece right here, like this berry in between these two. I just make sure that I have glue under that just because it's a nice solid space to have some glue. All right, and then this one, I do cut this one. I cut this because we're going down to the corner, and I always make sure this little guy here has glue on it. And we are going to tuck it. Oops, see, my leaf's not down yet, but that's okay. It will be. And we're going to tuck this right under here on top and just kind of stick it out just a little bit, just so it goes to the edge. All right. And everything will stick. It's just wet right now. So let it just kind of sit. Got to be careful, but this gives you some time to do a little wiggle room. And then this one, I'm going to bring out quite a bit because we're going to put our little flowers there. So just kind of think about that. And then we're going to add our golden thread that I just love. And so just pull that up. Just kind of lay it out there. And now we're going to take our 
gold points at us. And you know what? I might have popped those up. Let me see. Yep, I put baby dimensional, little the little minis on here. So here's one. And I just kind of lift it up and lay it in there. But I bring some of the leaves up. To just kind of be, I'm going to push this sleeve under this gold one. So just kind of under and on top, kind of like regular flowers do. And then this one, same thing. Oh, that would be really pretty, Lisa. That is a really great idea. All right, and then I'm going to just lift this up and kind of just tuck it. I want the red stone to show, so I'm going to slide it a little bit right there. All right, so we're good with that. Now, before we put the sentiment on, we are going, no, we're going to put the sentiment on first. So let's do that. And then I'll show you how I add my pretty thread. Now, we have this big lump right there but you don't want to have it too high because you don't want it to catch so I kind of pull it out a little bit night night Lorna thank you for joining me all right so we're just going to adhere it kind of get an idea where you want it so I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the red leaf just kind of a little and put it on there so I still have my hump but not a lot, but enough to have a little texture there. I got something. There we go. All right. Now for the important part. We're going to take this beautiful twine and it's listed below. It's from the, I think it's the greenery, forever greenery set, I want to say. And so what I do, here's one little piece I already cut. So I tie it in a knot because it unravels. So tie it in a knot thinking about how long you want your little pieces here to be. So I'm going to pull it this way and tighten it. Okay, so this is going to be kind of long. I'm going to take off probably about that much. And now you're going to unravel it. So I just take um, your piercing tool or your um, take a pick tool and just kind of start unraveling the ends. You know, an easier way, take your nail and just kind of start it and it'll go. So start both sides. And then you'll see it starting it and it seems to work a little easier once you kind of get it going. So use your nail first and that'll help. And I think adding this just really makes the card and I've done this on several cards. I just love it. I wish they sold this by itself because I would just buy a bunch of it. All right, so just unravel. You don't have to go all the way down because you're going to be tucking this in. Okay, so I, un I went down a little too far to try to unravel. All right, so there we go. All right, we're unraveled. Now you're going to take your glue dot. And what I like to do is I lay it on the glue dot and then I roll the glue dot. Oops. Lay it on there and then just kind of roll it just to make sure it's on all the way and all the way around no matter where you put it and then I'm going to pull up this leaf and I'm just going to go stick it down there so now it's not only in the glue but it has a glue dot on and now just kind of fan fan your little your little bling strings and kind of move them about and you're going to trim them so don't worry if you're like oh those are long it's okay so kind of Bring them down, up, wherever you want them. Okay, so that's one. 
I'm going to do this one just because it's little and I have a piece. I'm not going to waste this preciousness here. Tie this in a knot. Same thing. Boy, my hands are so dry, especially after doing those wreaths yesterday. Oof. The garland, I mean. All right. So pull it through. And it doesn't matter if you get all of it or some of it. You just want to make sure it doesn't unravel all over the place. So just kind of fan it out. There you go. Now put it on a glue dot. Now this knot went way to the end, which I'm fine with. I'm just going to put a glue dot on it and roll it. And I'm going to put this one right here. And it's just putting a little bit more and I'm going to do one more. All right, we're going to move it down this way. Same thing. And I think that's enough. We're going to start this for the ends. Thank you, Heather. And so like this, like I said, this gold, this trim, even ribbon, you could take ribbon and sometimes some of our ribbon, you can splice apart to have like little like white threads or you can loop little pieces of ribbon in. You don't have to do a huge amount. It just adds, you know, one more layer of depth, like I say. All right, so we're going to put this on glue dots too. And we are just about done. And so I'm just going to pull this one down here, tuck it under, push it down. I'm going to kind of pop up my poinsettia. Just kind of bend your leaves in a little bit. Pull apart your little threads. Get them kind of where you want them. And they don't have to be like completely evenly spread out or anything like that. I just like to add them just to add some little texture to the card and one more element of bling. This is a really blingy card with all of our foil and felt. I know it's hard to see the felt on camera, but so there's your card. Now you could choose to leave these long if you want. Um, I'm going to leave these long. I'm going to cut just what's off the page which doesn't mean it's going to turn and be on the page or go off the page even more. Just a little bit, not all the way. So I'm just going to leave this long. But look how pretty that looks with the, with the little threads there. It just kind of looks like, I mean, you're not going to find a card like this in the store, right? The cards that we make are... They just have so much attention to them and oops, there we go. All right. So I am good with that. So what I did on the inside is I did take um, a piece of whisper white. And even though I know I did the thick white card stock, I just like to make it look finished. And I'm turning this around because this side was a little bit rough. I think when I cut it, maybe my, my blade was old or something. So I'm just going to put that over here. I'm going to bring this back in. And my stamp set. I'm going to do the May Magic and Wonder Bloom This Holiday. I think it's such a pretty... Same. Whoop, that's too small. So my granddaughter wanted an American girl doll. She has one. 
but she wanted another doll and her mom told me it's an American girl doll or maybe she just said a doll and I thought American girl and she's like she's got Hello Kitty pajamas on she's blonde and she uh, Hello Kitty pajamas and blonde that's what it was and I was like, okay, so I'm looking up American Girl for this doll, and I cannot find it. So I told my daughter, well, I could not find the American Girl Hello Kitty pajama doll. Thank you, Debbie. And apparently it's not. It's called the My Life doll or something like that. So I uh, did find that today, thank goodness. So her uncle's going to get um, bunk beds for them. Um, you know, Lisa, I've never had a problem, or at least no one's ever told me that they've been crushed. What you can do is a lot of times, especially with a card like this, if I put it in the mail, I will take a plain card base and just lay it over on top. It just gives it a little more protection. And then that way, if it goes through the postage meter or whatever, it doesn't, you know, catch on the stones or whatever but I've found that I've never had anybody tell me anyway that there was an issue with just putting something over the top so that might help and now this kind of just goes with the front and so I'm going to put my tape on it which all of a sudden my tape runner has been working beautifully of course I said something so tomorrow's video it probably won't but so far, I think I've really finally got the hang of it, and I love it. All right, so there's our foil. We're going to put that on the inside. And I won't bore you with the envelope, but what I'm going to do is just take the poinsettia, um, this one right here, and I'm going to stamp that on the outside in the real red because that kind of matches what we're doing and then i may end up taking like one of the little ones like this um like this one or this one just to add a little accent but do them in yellow just kind of put them on there but i don't know i haven't decided yet but i'm doing the poinsettia for sure and it might just be the poinsettia because there's really no yellow on the inside of i mean on the card so there we go. Let me clean all this out of the way. Super simple, super fun. Oh, you'll notice on this one at the last minute, I chose a fourth layer. So I did two large ones on this card. On this one, I only did the three layers. So I wanted to show you the difference that you could continue stepping the card up. You could add more of uh, these gems like these right here. And so there's some little ones here. You could just pop them on here and there just to add a little bit of extra bling. So it's all about what you wanna do, what looks good to you. I think another thing to keep in mind is, are you mailing it? Or is it gonna go inside of a package? Um, are you dropping it off somewhere? So it just really depends on what your plans are on that, if you're gonna mail them or, or what. So that kind of makes a big difference on how blingy you want them to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed the card and it was fun crafting with you on a Monday so out of my normal but I'm gonna try and hop on as much as I can and share I have so many things I want to do and I just sometimes don't get the time and um, but I've been really I this is my favorite part of my business is doing my videos with you guys so I really appreciate that so don't forget tomorrow 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 is the sale so if you could go to my online store and you can find that um, by going to my blog. You'll see it on the upper right-hand side. My blog is marcybesker.com. The upper right-hand side, it'll say shop my online store on the bar on the right. 
Right below that is always my current host code, and this is what November's host code is here. But it, whatever code is posted there is the current code. So um, that's the code you'll always, you could just highlight it and copy it and then go start shopping from there. You can also shop below. Um, when you are watching my YouTube videos, um, below is the description. And if you just click on a link there, it will take you into my shop. So you can just go directly there. My blog is also listed below. If you would subscribe, share, and like, I would really appreciate it. It does help me with my business and just, I like to share what I do and that is the best way to do it. Again, I am here on Tuesdays at two and noon on Sundays, but I am going to start popping in a lot more often. So if you could, please subscribe and like and then when you hit the notification button you will get notified when i'm on heather you're welcome thank you debbie and then that way you'll get notified when i come on and if it's not my normal tuesdays and sundays at least you'll um, get a notification and see that i'm live i'd love for you to come and chat with me while we crap that's like i said my favorite thing to do and tomorrow will not be Christmas. No, no, no. Um, I will tell you that there is Blackberry Bliss, Gold Embossing, and an old and a new stamp set. Oh, Angela, you are welcome. Thank you so much for joining. It's so fun to see new faces, but it's also great to see people returning. I really appreciate that. That, that just makes me feel good. Like, I'm glad you are enjoying what I'm doing. So that's helpful. Thank you, Miss Olivia. So that is the thing. If you're a demonstrator, um, at, tomorrow's going to be busy. Shipping is going to be kind of crazy. We keep that in mind with this big special tomorrow. Shipping is going to be a little delayed because it's going to be crazy. I know Lisa, where are you at Lisa? I know time difference is tough. I've, I've actually considered doing an evening one, but then I'm like, okay, but what time is it there? I have a friend in Australia and I try to catch her, but I'm up late at night, so I'm able to catch her sometimes. But in the morning she can catch me, but during our days we're, we're totally off. Okay, yeah, so it's really late there right now, right? Well, I am glad you're here, Lisa, and I appreciate you watching whenever you can. Um, normally, when I pop on, it's going to be earlier than it was today because I was out running a ton of errands. So if I do pop on, it's probably going to be more noonish, is my guess. So um, keep watching, keep getting notifications and subscribe and you'll see more of me. But I will be here tomorrow. I am too, Lisa. Um, I will be here tomorrow with something fun, something new, something old, something embossed, something Blackberry Bliss. And that's all I'm going to tell you. So I will see you tomorrow. It is Tuesday. I'll be here at 2 o'clock. Have a great day. Let's see what else did I forget. The new mini catalog, real quick, don't forget, that is coming up. If you want to be a part of my team, I would absolutely love it. And you can order from the new catalog on December 1st. You do not have to make it as a business. You could do it as a hobbyist. You could make, make it what you want and get a discount. There's nothing wrong with that. There's a perfect reason. So um, if you have questions, if you want to email me, it's marcy at marcybessacard.com. I'd love to hear from you and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye.